Hey Francois, how Hello. are you? Good. Fine and you? Yeah, nice. It's sort of Friday morning, voice is starting to go, but uh, yeah, yes, it's all bit. good. It's <laughs> Already. Get, it's still nice and quiet in here because it's been very loud in this room, hasn't it? Yes, yes, and it's a good thing to, don't it, uh, maximum of noise during the afternoon, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Shaq Matt, you have new modules for Superbooth, right? Yes, we have uh, four new modules this year. Um, so we have the Clock Upon MK2, so it's a new version of a former clock generation uh, model. We have the Santos Gate, we presented a very early prototype last year. This one is pretty close to uh, production. So it's a dual multi-type gate, like two channels that can be a uh, different kind of VCF, LPG or VCA. Then we have um, those two brand, brand new models, which are the battering ram and the Arches rig. We started a drum model line, so here we have the bass drum and uh, hi-hat. So maybe let's go and do a small start with the bass drum. Let's have a quick pattern over there. So, the bass drum is a collaboration with uh, Mark Nostrum, who is an instrument and plugin designer. So it has all the usual control like pitch, decay, depth, drive, and click. So let's do a bit of mangling over there. So you have is it sample based or is it uh, modeled? It's uh, completely animal? synthesis. Uh, it, it's synthesis, it's not sample based. Ah, okay. Um, you have two types of drives. This is like the soft drive, you can go for the hard one. So you have a gate or trigger mode. So in gate it allows because we also have a volt octave input to make kind of bass lines with it or to hold a sustained stage of your kick. You have a HPF to clean everything below 30 Hz. And you have also a store and recall function. So what's store and recall? It allows to make a snapshot of all the controls by holding this button. So you can make your break. You are in your break and you go back to your drop. So it's basically it for the battering ram. Um, should be available in uh, early fall, and um, price tag should be around 270 euros slash dollars. Okay. Cool. So after that we have the Archer's rig, which is a high edge generator. So the Archer's rig is an hybrid between uh, analog and digital. Um, Synthesis. So we have uh, digital sound source processed by a VCA, VCF and distortion which are analog. So the sound source can be a lot of different uh, type of signals. So we have a bunch of different algorithms which are based on squares. So there are different squares, 808 squares, so different tuning, a more bellish uh, approach like the Jira 110, uh, so it's noise and squares. Speaking of noise, we have this noise algorithm with a filter and a pickle noise on the other side. We have the 909 sample, we have FM-based synthesis for hi-hats, cross FM. Uh, we have also this uh, resonant FM, which is actually noise exciting a square. We have a sign which will, will be useful with, um, with the next uh, chapter, which is the effect. And you can so feed into the tune input any external signal in this mode. So you will uh, have all the analog process chain able to process uh, any signal to create your own iAd materials. Ah, okay. So let's go to maybe the FM thing. And you have different FX. So the module is not done yet, so there is still some inconstancy. So the FX are a process you're adding to the sound source. So you, here you have a sample reducer. You have FM, so we're adding FM on FM. You have a uh, ring modulation, so square ring modulating. Oh, a lot of, lot of tonal variations. Yeah, yeah, a lot of tonal variations. And so you get it, you have a lot of different possibilities, like 10 different algorithms, eight different effects that lead to a lot of sonic possibilities. But um, we added presets, so this module allows to recall 96 presets oh, and cool. also has a random generator, so for every uh, hit you can have for any parameter a different amount of random. And let's go maybe to some presets, so it, 
will be much easier. So you have an idea of the sonic capabilities. So let's go with random preset. There we oh, got some good, random. So you, for hi hats, you can really make them feel human almost. Yeah. Yeah. So we have some humanized approach of this. Yeah. Um, and can do some very oh, cool. crazy sound, you know. And this is more humanized. Uh, well, a small random on the filter and on the decay, which leads to yeah, kind of humanized feeling. So that's pretty for the iHats. Um, maybe we can go to the Santos Gate uh, yeah, okay. with the dual filter VCF VCA. So again, this one was his last year. Uh, and we took one year to redesign everything and having everything working perfectly, having the sound we want and we like for a model like that. So let's take a patch cable over there. Oh. So was that because of components you had to do some redesign? Sorry? Was it because you had to resource components to do, you had to redesign or was it just... Um, it's more the topology of the filter needed to be reworked and um, we have also uh, so it's a fully analog signal pass module, but there is some digital control. The idea is we have different blocks that can compose a filter and or VCA, and uh, we have a um, digital brain which can reorganize all the blocks in order to have different uh, topology of filter of VCA or LPG. Ah, okay, got you. So let's go and let's listen to... Let's take a saw, for example. So we have... Those four buttons allow us to choose the mode over there, so we have the green mode or the red mode. Green is gentle, red means a, a bit harsh. So the green mode, you have this filter, which is a 12 dB filter with this mellow resonance. It's a bit a uh, bubbly, juicy filter, it never self oscillates. So you have the low pass version, the band pass version, or the high pass version. So you can put them in series, for example, so now you have a low pass and high pass or a variable bandwidth band pass. A oh, nice and se uh, separate output so you can yeah. so you can make yeah, them yeah, sure. it's, it's a, And you can have two s completely separate uh, units or it can be put in serial or parallel. So there's a lot of patching possibilities with it. So you have also LPG mode. So the LPG with a resonance adding kind of accent. Uh, speaking of LPG, we added also optical emulation circuit. So it's an analog circuit that emulates all beloved backtrolls that are not allowed in the EU anymore. So it replicates like the envelope, the kind of pinging right. envelope ah, of okay, the backtrolls. Um, then we have the red mode. In the red mode, it's more like MS20 style. So you have the low pass, band pass, high pass version. And then the last mode is a VCA with a resonance feedback loop. So on the square you won't hear it, but no, you, you hear it, you're adding some harmonics to the incoming oh, nice. signal. But it can be very clean when you're not using the resonance, um, the resonance knob. So you have uh, parallel or serial uh, routing. So for example, in parallel you can simply have, I don't know, two band pass in parallel by holding this button. I can also link the control this way, so this becomes a master control, and this is an offset for the second channel. So we have two parallel bandpass. Oh, nice. Um, we have attenuator or attenuator control for uh, those potentiometer. Mode can be recalled by CV. And uh, the, click, the, the mode changing is uh, switching is clickless, meaning you can modulate it and create some patterns without any click, even of uh, very low harmonic signals. Right. Last thing, it is also uh, select bus compliant, meaning with my Arlequin's context over there, I can change my presets or my filter. This is a feature we want to add on uh, almost. So what? This is a, a preset bus. Select bus, yeah. It's uh, the same that uh, make noise use or different manufacturers. Um, like, for example, the Disting has select bus, the ah, okay. different modules from Malico has a select bus too. So right, select bus, right. Sorry, I didn't quite hear. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's like MIDI but sent through the power cables right. uh, between all the models. It's like the old dope for CV and gate kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's uh, using the old CV and gate uh, uh, bus that Dupfer created years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
still relevant. <laughs> still relevant, and um, with MIDI, there's some very cool stuff I think we can do. Ah, and speaking of Select Bus, we have also control of Select Bus on this last module, which is a clock device. So, so let's take a more straight pattern. Okay, so it's a um, transport section and clock generation. You have a stop, you have a play, you have a tap tempo. You have a reset option. And then you have a nudge. It's a typical nudge, so like a, a vinyl uh, player when you want to just put, push a bit your tempo and so on. Can you do division, can you do um, decimal places of BPM or is it whole numbers only? It's uh, only entire values. Uh, so you can set the BPM, of course. Uh, with the tap tempo, you can have uh, non-integer values. So you have also grooves. So grooves, it's a bit like in Ableton Live, there are patterns of micro timing on your clock. So for example, let's go with the tinery grooves that maybe create a pattern and can be more here. And let's take the hi-hat sound. That so as you can hear, now we have a um, groove, of, because I just recall a preset with the Harlequins. Uh, it's like a ternary feeling. So if I'm removing it, you will simply hear that you can have a... No, we got to the more binary feeling, right? Um, you have also uh, accent output with different accent patterns. Grooves can be in a lot of different time signatures, four, five, six, seven, nine. So as you see, there is a long list of groove. Uh, so accent, you can have also humanized functions. So you're just adding randomness to the micro timing of the clock. And then you have different sets of functions, so how the reset behave. Do you want to delay a bit the first clock uh, when you're sending a reset, so you share all the sequencer just go together? And a lot of different small options coming from the first unit uh, we, we make like years ago, uh, and we kept all those same features in, uh, in, like in this menu. So uh, what's the price of the, uh, the dual filter gate and also the... Uh, it will be around 320, 330, something like that. Hey, I'm not sure yet, but... Uh, and what about your clock? The clock, uh, it should be 180 or 170. Not sure yet uh, also, but um, in this price range. So sure. when, when do you think they're going to be uh, ready, these things? Oh, uh, we are uh, for early fall for the center, the clock upon, and I guess the drum modules will be made surely like mid-fall or something. Thank you very much, Francois. Thank you very much, Nick, and see you next time. Mm.